to install VirtualBox 7 into a Windows 11 machine. So what's new in VirtualBox 7? Faster install of Win 11 without doing registry hacks, a new graphical user interface, an automated virtual machine builder, better 3D support, and full encryption for virtual machines. Outcomes? Download VirtualBox 7 and VirtualBox Extension Pack. I discussed the VirtualBox 7 Python core issue. Install Redistributable C++, which is required prior to installing VirtualBox 7. Install VirtualBox 7. And finally, install the VirtualBox Extension Pack. Requirements? A Windows 11 machine with additional 1 GB of RAM more than Windows 11 minimum. An internet connection. 300 plus megabyte storage space. And administrative privileges on a Windows 11 machine. Additional info. The next three slides contain additional sources of info. A list of the software used in making this video. And a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. The first step in installing VirtualBox 7.0 is to download it. And I can either download it here on this VirtualBox 7.0, or I can go to the Downloads directory. Both of them take me there. And then I look over here where it says VirtualBox 7.0.6 Platform Packages. Click on Windows Hosts, and then up pops this PC download section and simply click save. Now once I'm here, it's downloaded. Second thing I want to download here is the VirtualBox 7.6 VirtualBox Extension Pack. It supports uh, VirtualBox, Remote Desktop Protocol, Disk Encryption, PXE Boot, and a few other things. I'm just going to click on All Supported Platforms again. I'm going to the Downloads directory, click Save, and that's all there is to downloading VirtualBox. Next section, I'm going to discuss some uh, issues with installing VirtualBox. When installing VirtualBox into Windows 11, you may see the message. This message is a warning that Python dependencies are missing. These dependencies are used to do programming tasks in VirtualBox 7 and are not necessary to create and run virtual machines. You can choose to ignore this warning or stop the install and install Python 3.11 and Win32 API into Windows 11. If you wish, you can use the link in the descriptions below this video to locate a video on this channel that shows you how to do that. Another alternative is to hide this warning in the screen before this warning shows up, click on VirtualBox Python Support. Then, when the drop-down menu appears, click on Entire Feature will be unavailable, and finally click on Next. The Python Dependencies Warning page will be bypassed. After you have decided what to do about Python Core warning message, whether to install Python 11 or not, I'm going to try and install VirtualBox 7. So go to File Explorer, and we download in the Downloads directory. And right here is VirtualBox 7. Click or double-click it, and it's going to start to install. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click Yes. It says, preparing to install. Now up comes the message. Oracle VM VirtualBox 7.0.6 needs the Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 redistributable package being installed first. So let's click OK, and we're going to install that package. It's not very difficult to install. And now let's click Finish. Installation fail error. And then just click OK. So the next thing we're going to have to do is open up Chrome, and let's see, I think it was Microsoft Redistribute 
hospital, uh, redistributable. C plus plus twenty nineteen. And right here it says latest supported visual C plus plus redistributable downloads. Click on that and go down here and it's an X64. So we're gonna go to the redistributable X64, this one right here. Click on it. It's VC Redist X64. Click Save. And down here in the left, it is. We'll click right here this time. And it says C 2015 to 2022. And it asks you to agree to the license. So you click right here, Agree, and Install. Click Yes. Verify Publisher, Microsoft Corporation, click Yes. S setup successful. Close. Let's close this right here. And now we're ready to go ahead with the VirtualBox 7 install. So now I'm going to finally install VirtualBox 7.0.6. Come up here. Click on it. And again, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Verify Publisher, Oracle Corporation, click Yes. And it says, Welcome to the Oracle VM VirtualBox 7 Setup Wizard. Click Next. And then, I've already installed Python 3.11 and the Python Core dependency, so I can just click Next. Warning. Network interfaces, click yes, and then finally install. And then it says start Oracle VM VirtualBox after installation. Let's go ahead and start it. Finish. And you'll notice down here it says Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. Just click on it. Now that VirtualBox is installed, the next section will cover the installation of the VirtualBox Extension Pack. So to install the Extension Pack, I would simply go to over here to all these little tools and click on Extension. And then I hit the plus where it says Install. And then I go back to the Downloads directory. If it doesn't automatically go, Oracle VM VirtualBox Extension Pack 7. Open and then install. Again, we've got a license to agree to. Click OK. And there it is. It's installed. So now I've installed VirtualBox 7 and VirtualBox Extension Pack into Windows 11. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers!